There are seven seals. Among the poor in spirit there is power over the heart of heart, and by the perfect of way all the nations of wickedness have come to an end. Not one of their mighty men stands, for the wicked are destroyed. But we the children of the great spirit in Native America are the remnant of thy people. Thy name, O God of mercies, who hast kept the covenant with our fathers, in all our generations thou hast bestowed thy wonderful favors on the remnant of thy people, under the dominion of Belial. On the opening of the seventh seal, there will be silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. In the right hand of him that sits on the throne is a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. The Great Spirit will restore sovereignty to the tribes of Native America, and restore their lands. He will teach them the book and wisdom, and purify them. You, Great Spirit, are the Almighty, the Wise. This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. I survived, but you might not, if you fall into their trap. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral plane conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not crack jokes or hold conversations with you. That's a human, impersonating a deity on the astral plane, but it's really a human with bad breath and smelly feet. These people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practiced genocide against Jews, Africans, Native Americans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane. Stay in God's word. The scriptures say, Praise the Lord, for he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him, but when he cried unto him, he heard, 